Hello everyone, it's me, Angela Martin, and welcome to another Quick Cast. So what can I say? iPad OS 17 has been released and it's been available for some time now. And by now, many of you, if not all of you, have installed the new iPad OS onto your iPads. So guys, there's quite a lot of new features that we need to cover, but I'm going to take a slightly different approach and go into a little bit more depth with these new features. Now I'm going to break it up into different episodes. Starting with episode one, we're going to personalize our lock screen. So let's get started. Now when I start up my iPad, I'll see that my touch ID will change into a rest to open. Now what that means if I tap hold on my lock screen, it will take me into the customizable lock screen feature. Let's look at the new wallpapers that's been added on. So if I swipe now from right to left, tap on the plus, it will take me into my different wallpapers. I'm going to start with the wallpaper that I like to use even on my iPhone. And this is the weather wallpaper. And not only does it give me the wallpaper, but also additional widgets with my wallpaper as well. But I can also add and change these widgets if I want to. But for now, let's stick to doing the wallpaper. Only I'll just tap on add and I'll make it into as a wallpaper pair for both my lock and my home screen. And then I will go again, adding a, another wallpaper. This time around, I'm going to look at the new additions to the wallpaper as well, which is the kaleidoscope. I'll tap on add just to add it and I'll make it into a wallpaper pair. But if we make it into a wallpaper pair and say we change our orientation of our iPad, say to portrait, it will automatically change. And even if I should go into my home screen, you will see that it changes again. And even if I woke my iPad up again, and then it will go back into a different shape, go back into my customizable lock screen again. So another wallpaper that I like to add on is the one from the collections, which is the Hello. Now what makes the Hello one so cool is the fact that not only can we add in different colors, but it also changes language if we shouldn't switch off our iPad and switch it on, which give us this option where we can include all languages or choose any preferred language. I'm just going to keep it on all languages. We can also change it to dark and or to light or just leave it automatic. Now, say for instance, I should add it and I'll set it as a wallpaper pair. Now, if I see I set it as a wallpaper pair, if I go into my home screen, it will automatically zoom in, which is actually a pretty cool feature. And as mentioned with the different languages, if I put my iPad to sleep, wake it up, it will spell out hello. But the second time when I put it to sleep, wake it up, it will come up as a different language. Another addition to our wallpaper is where we can use live photos, which will do the live action when we're in our lock screen. So if I go to my photos, and I've got a folder here, we have added in a few live photos. I'll take the one with the rhinos and you can actually see it's moving. So whenever I'm in my lock screen, it will just do that action. So I'll add that one as well. And we can also add in from our photos, our portrait photos, which will do like a depth effect similar to that on our iOS 16 and 17 with our iPhone. So if I should go and add another one from my photos library and I add in this one here and I can see this is a nice portrait photo, but it's so big that it's taken over the time which doesn't give the depth effect. Now, if you have a situation like that, where the person in your portrait is taking over the time, you can make it smaller. Because as you can see, if I go to my depth effect option, it's faded out. But now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make these, these head a bit smaller and maybe just move it down a slightly lower. And now if I should tap on the button again, I'll see it's not faded out anymore and I can choose a depth effect and then I get that nice 3D option. Not only that, but I can, of course, as on my iPhone, or I iOS 16 and 17, I can choose my different backgrounds and then I can 
select which one it is i fancy the studio one so i'll keep that one and i'll tap on add and i'll make it into a wallpaper pair and there i've got all the newer wallpapers included with the ones that i do like and if you have a wallpaper that you want to get rid of as on my ios 16 and 17 you can just swipe up press on the trash can and delete wallpaper so now let's look at the different widgets we can apply so when it comes to applying widgets we can just tap on the customize button go into our lock screen and we'll see that we've got the option to add in widgets on the side as well as at the top and even make adjustments to our time so if i should tap on the date widget i can alter that i prefer to keep it the way it is and if i tap on the time widget i can make it a little bit bolder or make it less bolder i'll just keep it like that and i'll change maybe my font as well and maybe make it a little bit more brighter and then i can also tap on the side where my current widgets are situated and i can tap on the sidebar which will open my widgets library and here i can add in additional widgets i'll just add in the battery widget there and i have different options and if i swipe then i can choose the other option as well so i'll just choose this one here but what's so awesome about adding in additional widgets is my shortcuts widgets so if you have created a bunch of shortcuts through your shortcuts app on your iphone your mac and even on your ipad you can add in all of those shortcuts as well so first of all i go to my shortcuts and i'll drag this one in and if i tap on that shortcut it will take me into my various shortcuts that i've created and i'll keep that one as add task and if i should drag and add in another one and then I tap on it again and this time around I can say I want to make this as my park and find and then I'll add in maybe a third one and I will choose and make this one a photo collage guys another reason to play around and create your different shortcuts where you can add it as a widget straight onto your lock screen now just tap on done and it's not limited only to the landscape view if you change to portrait view i will see that i've got access to my widgets on the screen now if i should go back into my customizable options and under my customize button i can now just tap on the lock screen i can add in my widgets if i tap on that center bar now i can add in my different widgets you will see that the first three widgets that were available when i was in my landscape has come up as the first three when i was in my portrait mode now another awesome feature as with my iOS 16 and 17 I can also apply focus modes with my lock screen if I'm in my customize option and I tap on focus it will then give me the option to select any of my existing focus modes so say for instance I decide that I want to have the weather with my recordings focus mode and once I've done that it will then appear as for recordings below that focus and let me go to another lock screen with this i'll apply to my do not disturb focus mode so now that i've applied those focus modes to those two say if i'm in my hello lock screen and i go to my control center and i choose let me go with my recordings then it will automatically change to the lock screen that i've applied and it also works backwards around if i should go and select that focus it will automatically change to my do not disturb as we can see at the bottom and the half moon icon at the top so now let me just go back to my customize option so i can go ahead and add in others but seeing that i'm busy with this you can also create your own focus modes which we will look at in our next episode so guys that is it for this episode hope that you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and it's me angela martin until i see you on the next quick cast video stay safe out there and goodbye